Well, you know, Obama comes from the law academia uh, environment that I'm very familiar with, where that talk about empathy is what you hear all the time. It's very normal, it's sophisticated, and I can understand how Obama is just has just been soaking in that. And then when he, as a former constitutional law professor, comes to us and starts to tell us about law, I can really understand how he thought he was saying something profound and meaningful and he picking a judge that would do that and that that would really just be a wonderful new way of talking about the law but it got beaten back and the language was used against him and now we see Sotomayor talking to us uh, today and yesterday and I think she's shaking herself free of all that and not owning up to it not taking that idea of empathy and selling it running with us and telling us that em how empathy really is interwoven with the interpretation of constitutional law which I'm sure she could do if she wanted to I think she's made a strategic decision not to say that and not to go there that it doesn't play well with the American public that the conservative message that judges are umpires, you know, just uh, Chief Justice Roberts' way of putting it, that they're neutral expositors of the law. I think that's what people want to hear. And the Obama message that I think he came to us thinking, you know, I'm the constitutional law professor. I can uh, explain to you the depths of the law. I think that failed. I think it was a real failure of President Obama's that he didn't see coming to him because he came from this coddled background of the Law Academy and it did not play with the American public and Sotomayor has already figured that out and has backed away from it.